Hello, welcome to Driving School Tutorial. My name is Frank. Yes, I want to talk about this, uh, you know, new decree that the Italian government is about to put in place because I've received a series of questions from people asking me if it is true or not. Yes, it is true. And um, before we proceed, I want to, you know, quickly highlight uh, what the decree is talking about to us. For example, Guida called telephone, that is driving with telephone. For example, here he say, Chi verrà sorpreso a guidare utilizzando un telefono per chiamata o messaggi verrà punito con una sospensione breve della eh, patente di guida da 7 a 20 giorni a secondo dei punti rimasti su permesso di guida, which is the, the, the patente di guida. So, what the place is telling us is uh, what the, 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 um, the crew is telling us that. Anybody who uh, maybe they caught, you know, during driving and this person is using telephone to send text messages or to receive calls will be, uh, you know, um, punished by suspending the, this person's license for about maybe 7 to 20 days. And this suspension is going to be according to the point that this person is having in his or license. That is why here they said, Certain journey the suspension is a SSI ano da 10 a 19 punti. 15 journey the suspension is da 1 a 9 punti. Che raddoppiano salendo a 14 e 30 giorni nel caso i conducenti sia, eh, sia responsabili di un incidente stradale. So, 7 uh, days. Uh, of suspension for those people who are having 10 to 19 point 15 days of suspension from nine, uh, 1 to 9 point and also it doubles in the case of maybe the person is uh, responsible for uh, you know the road accident that is why they tell us in that case it will double maybe from 14 to 30, uh, 30 days of uh, suspension you understand so another one I would like us to quickly look into is the one of male patriarchy. Now here it said, il governo ha inassato da uno a tre anni i limiti entro cui i neo patriarchi non potranno guidare le auto più potenti, spesso erroneamente definite di grosse cilindrata. Si tratta delle automobili con motore termico con potenza specifica superiore a 55 kW which is uh, 75 cavalli per tonnellate e o con potenza massima pari o superiore a 70 kW which is 95 cavalli nel caso delle vetture elettrificate ibridi o elettriche la potenza specifica sale a 65 kW a uh, which is in bracket 88 cavalli per tonnellate. Now, don't forget that uh, before, within one year, you are not allowed to drive vehicles that are, you know, above this, uh, you know, this uh, value. For example, vehicles that are above um, 55 uh, kilowatt and which is 75 uh, cavalli. You understand? So after one year, you can drive them. That is how it is before. But now, you can no longer drive them if only three years so after three years you can drive the vehicle of this uh, you know um the cavalli that is why if you want to buy a car now as a new pattern that you must make sure you look for cars you know you know without a high uh, cavalli for example that is staying below 55 uh, kilowatt and um, which is uh, you know below 75 uh, cavalli you understand then the next one i want us to quickly look into is this uh, you know, you know uh, Guida in Stato di Ebreza. Guida, guida in Stato di Ebreza means driving under the influence of alcohol. So, what are they telling us here? For example, they say, Per chi guida sotto, eh, sotto l'effetto dell'alcohol è prevista la sospensione e la revoca della patente fino a tre anni. So, if, for example, anybody is caught, you know, uh, driving under the influence of alcohol, this person's license can be suspended or revoked for up to 
three years you understand then another one i would like us to look into for example here he said uh, you know guida soto effetto di stupefacente now guida soto effetto di stupefacente means driving under uh, the uh, uh, the influence of high drugs so these people for example here they say apprescendere dallo stato di uh, alterazione psicofisica guidare dopo aver assunto droghe sarà punibile con il ritiro della patente so for example if anybody drive under the influence of you know uh, high drugs this person's license can be withdrawn you understand so it means that this person is no longer going to have his or a license so these are not new things you understand they have always always been there it's just that they want to make them more effective now you understand because right from time we know that you cannot drive under the influence of alcohol that it is prohibited to 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 use high drugs and drive you understand so but the area i we want to you know uh, to 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 talk about is that of the use of telephone now for example in that area of the use of telephone the only thing i want to advise us is this you know so many of us we do go to work you know with our cars you understand so during the work hour you have so many calls you know and text messages that you are not able to respond to so after this after uh, the work period or work hour you want to respond to all these messages so this time try to make sure you don't do this while driving take your time before you start driving respond to these text messages respond to this call if you can't wait to get to your uh, to your destination before you do that you do them before you start driving and now for example if you are driving and somebody call you what you have to do stop respond to this call or do you want to call somebody stop uh, make this call provided that no uh, road uh, sign prohibit you maybe um, physically uh, prohibit you or maybe theoretically prohibit you to stop you understand as long as you don't have those restrictions you can stop and do all these things because let me give you an instance about two years ago a colleague of mine had his vehicle destroyed by this guy who you know um, uh, according to him he was looking for a phone charger so when my colleague uh, stopped to give right of way to vehicles that were in circulation in the, in the roundabout so he hit him at the, at the back because the attention was not there now you agree with me that if this guy had stopped to you know to look for this charger maybe it would take him uh, five minutes but at the end of the day this uh, that kind of accident would not happen you understand so that is why i'm telling you or advising you if you want to make or stop make your call uh, you want to do anything that you know that will take your attention you stop and do it you understand so that you know you don't fall in victim or you are not used as, as, as an example in this kind of situation you understand then sometimes we see it that maybe it's something that they are too strict or you know those kind of, no it's not that they are too strict let me tell you something it is reported that the the road case or cases they have 43 percent of people who drive under the influence of uh, of, uh, 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 of high drugs and uh, 40 percent under the influence of alcohol now 40 plus 43 you agree with me that is 83 83 away from 100 so you see they are having a high percentage of it also it is reported that this is one of the via that is leading so many of their youth to their early grave so that is why they are doing all these things to make sure they do they, they, they you know ensure the safety of the road so what we have to do is to try to adapt to a a you know a system of driving that we you know enable us not to fall in uh, to fall victim of this uh, you know whole thing so Please don't forget, make sure you share this video, share it with your friends, share it with your loved ones. Don't forget, the safety of the road is important to everybody. Thank you guys, I appreciate your time. Share this video with your friends, leave your comment at the comment section.